Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Heat Eye of Robot Wars Armageddon Rebirth Series 2. We have six more machines ready to battle it out to make it through to the semis. Let's see who they are. Heavily armoured in connects, 100 grams in weight and a very very powerful spinning bar weapon. It's also invertible. Watch out for these guys, they could prove deadly in this series. From so Archangel. We saw these guys in the last series, but they didn't have too much success making it to the Heat semi-final. They're 100 grams away with a deadly double-ended spiked axe. Hopefully this year they can do better. From Nottinghamshire, Nuclear Hazard. Again, we saw these guys in the last series, but they lost in the first round being flipped out by Up Downer. They're quick, they're agile, they've got a good weapon in that flipper. Who knows, they could go far this time. From Suffolk, Storm 2. A very, very famous machine, this one. A former world champion of Robot Wars, Robot Wars Series 7 runners up. 25 centimeters per second top speed. Very dangerous lifter, very dangerous push. Watch out for these guys. From Worcestershire, hate. First round loses from the last round. They lost against Cassius 3, so no real shock value there. They have, however, got a very big axe and they hope to get it stuck into something this time around. From West Sussex and seeded number 8, play. They made it to the semi-finals last time around, hence the number 8 seeding. They come back redesigned this time around with a deadly axe and two wedge spikes. Launch has more on this machine's past. Plague were solid entries in the Royal Wars Armageddon Arena last time around, as they made the series semi-finals, only losing out to eventual 4th placers Ice Fire. There'd be good machines like Terrible and Mastrath 2 in the last series to make said semi-finals, and I'm sure improvements would have been made to Mighty Play the 8th seeds. So in Group B we have Storm 2, Nuclear Hazard and Hate. One heck of a rumble that should be. I wonder who will win that, only time will tell. But first we have the number 8 seeds Plague in the same group as Shredder and Archangel. Plague versus Shredder is first up. Robot is stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Play looking forward to getting their axe stuck in, and they do, immediately smacking it on the top of Shredder. Shredder trying to get that bar spinner spinning up to speed, and they do, and immediately cause damage. Some damage done there to Plague straight away. Plague trying to get the revenge back by getting their axe into play, and they do so, getting it stuck into that spinning bar. Oh, and the axe is gone! Shredder have ripped the axe off, and that means now the Plague are weaponless. They have got those two front, blue, you see those two blue front wedges? They're designed to guide robots along as they push them around. Well, let's hope that they come into effect because they're currently in major, major trouble here as they push Shredder into the CPZ with Katrina. So obviously it is working to an extent, but at the moment Shredder for me are currently winning. If the judges were to make a decision, remember they decide on strategy, control, damage especially, and aggression. And look there, the damage, one of those front wedge spikes ripped clean off of Plague. And Plague here are taking all kinds of punishment. Are Plague still mobile, I wonder? The number eight seeds are in trouble here. They've lost their weapon, they've lost their front blue wedge thing. That's, that's, that's all it is, let's be fair, lads. And I think they've also lost their drive here. I think they've been immobilised now. Katrina coming in to have a look. Yes, I think the house robots are going to be coming out soon. They are. In comes Nail, the beautiful lady that she is, grasping a hold of, uh, of Plague in some sort of horrendous cuddle of sorts and playing thrown by the floor flipper nearly into the pit of oblivion Jeez. but they're out and that's a huge surprise shredder with a fantastic performance there. Look at the damage, look at the pieces of Plague laying around the arena as the number eight seeds lose there and Shredder gets six points, sorry, three points. Can they get six points now against Archangel? Well, does anyone want me to find out? Let's get to the arena. Robot is stand by. Three, two, one. That fight there makes Shredder dark horses in my opinion. Down comes Archangel's axe though. Do not count them out. That axe is very deadly. It's a two-headed spiked axe. But I think Shredder's already done damage. Look at this. Look at the frame. It's been twisted. You can see the front wedge has been twisted already. And that means that Shredder's caused all sorts of damage. Archangel managing to somehow throw itself upside down using its axe. That's a problem, if their axe is too powerful, it means they have no control, and they're now on their side, now they're righted, but Shredder here, in my opinion, could very much be Dark Horses for this series, look at the damage caused there, 
to the side of Archangel. Oh, goodness me, Shredder! Causing all sorts of damage, and they could very well have six points here. And I think they're going to. Look at the damage to Archangel now, and Archangel on the verge of going the bit. They've been literally pulled apart. Sheesh. And they've been pitted, and Shredder. A very impressive performance there. Look at that bar spin is spinning up to speed. They go through to the heat final easily. They get six points. Plague have none and Archangel have none. We are still going to have a consolation round between Plague and Archangel. Let's get to the arena to see who wins that one. Robot is stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. The Plague Boys must be gutted, they really must be. They put all that effort into rebuilding the machine. They were seeded eighth and they've already lost. However, can they gain some points here for the Constellation Round to come second in this uh, in this group? I wonder, the two axes come clashing down. Archangel smashing down onto Plague. Plague's axe smashing down as well. This is a fantastic battle of two terrific axes here. I'd say Plague's is quicker, but Archangel has a bit more weight behind it, so who knows? And now Plague, using its controlling axe there to get them into the CPZ, and now once again clutching a hold of them, I'd say Plague is just on top here at this point in time, but they've lost their axe again! Oh, dearie me, Plague have lost their axe once again here, and now they're once again going to have to use pushing power and control to their advantage. Meanwhile, Karma, sorry, grabbing a hold of Archangel, Our Archangel still mobile. They were in the CPZ, and they have now been toppled over, and that could have been a saving grace Plague. Nope, they self-right. They managed to self-right, and now Archangel coming down with that axe once more, trying to get a hold of something valuable, trying to get, trying to smash them into pieces, really because they've got the damaging weapon, they've got the way, the ability to do damage, but don't count playing out yet, they can still be very offensive and defensive with the wedges and with their pushing power. This is a terrific battle so far, I'm not really too sure who's winning at this point, both machines giving it their all, I'd say Plague maybe, even though they've lost their axe, are ah, definitely being the most aggressive and the more controlled of the two. But Archangel, for nearly in the pit there, and again, but they are pushing back strongly here and trying to get that axe into play once again to cause even more damage. There, on the wheels of Plague, Plague didn't drove into the CPZ there with Brick, you don't want to end up with there with Brick, he's deadly, he's dangerous, and Archangel now coming back strongly here with that axe, and I'm just wondering how much damage is being done here to Plague. Now, more damage, look, the back panel has come up and so is a wheel and I think now that means it's all over for Plague, yes it is, there's nothing left of Plague now, I'm almost certain of it I think they've thrown in the towel and that means that we can have fun with our house robots, Karma and Brick oh dearie me Plague well I feel really bad for the team they've done so much work on it, only for it to basically be mullered again oh dearie me Sheesh. And down the pit of oblivion they go, which means Archangel are the winners of the Constellation Round. They get three points. It doesn't matter, though. They're out, along with Plague. And that's a surprise. Number eight seeds out, gone already, without even scoring any points. But they're finished. Shredder, after an impressive victory, go through to the Heat Final. They were face off against one of these three machines. Storm 2, Hate, and Nuclear Hazard. Storm 2 versus Nuclear Hazard are up the first. Is stand by. Three, two, one. So who can win out of these two? Storm 2 has the powerful pushing power, but Nuclear Hazard has the flipper. Then again, so true to Storm 2, and they've managed to roll Nuclear Hazard up and over. Nuclear Hazard want to make up for last time round. Last year, they lost in the first round. They had a very good battle against Up Downer, but they got flipped out of the arena eventually. Up Downer were the winners of that particular encounter. And now they're stuck on their end here, and Storm 2 look to be in charge and in command of this battle. I can't see Nuclear Hazard getting away from there now. Brick have got a hold of them but they try to self-right but in doing so they flip themselves back into Brick Brick now grabbing a hold of <laughs> Nuclear Hazard and I think they're pinning them in really not really too sure but in comes Malfunction with the axe and freeing Nuclear Hazard now Nuclear Hazard trying to flip Malfunction that's not wise that's not advised what are you doing lads Meanwhile, Nuclear Hazard has been pushed around the arena once again here, and this to me has all been Storm 2 at this point in time, and nearly in the pit there. Storm 2, very impressive this time around. They've come back improved. Nuclear Hazard finally getting a few flips in, but is it too late, I wonder? Could it go to the judges, this battle? Strategy, control, damage, and aggression are the points that the judges look out for. Storm 2 self writing using that flipping arm, throwing themselves into the air once again and again. 
this battle to me so far has all been stormed through but nuclear has it now starting to come back or oh, are oh, they as they get piggybacked the loss the arena towards malfunction but nuclear has it underneath storm two now throwing them up into the air this could well go to the judges if you ask me this has been a terrific battle so far one of the best of the series I'd say but Storm 2 for me still might just be on top it really all depends on whether Nuclear Hazard can get more flips in because Storm 2 have got the push and the flipping power meanwhile Nuclear Hazard only have the flipping power but they have a much more powerful flipper it's all like this even balance thing isn't it really I'd say the even balance is more towards Storm 2's favour though as they once again flick over Nuclear Hazard but Nuclear Hazard has another flip now this is a terrific fight isn't it both are what's giving it their all. I'll admit Storm 2 started the stronger, but Nuka is slowly coming back, if you ask me. Although I wouldn't say they've managed to overtake just yet, but then again, I'm not a judge. We've got to take it up with them. They're, they're the brains, not me. As Storm 2 go flying through the air and nearly drove in the pit there. Did you see that? They were very close to going down the pit there. Storm 2 now. Getting another side assault on Nuclear Hazard and pushing them along again. So they still have strength left. And you have to worry about nuclear hazard because it is a, it, remember it's a CO2 power flip, it's not a limitless supply. But they have got enough power to flip them around and out of the arena eventually. <laughs> Go Storm 2. And nuclear hazard, that was a fantastic comeback there. As they get Storm 2 out of the arena and they get six, sorry, three points. Storm 2 gets zero, hate also have zero, but that's because they haven't completed yet. They're going up against nuclear hazard next. Who will win? Let's find the out. Is stand by. Three, two, one, activate. I apologise, it's not Nuclear Hazard, it's Storm 2 they're going up against here. Hate, trying to get that hammer into Storm 2. Remember, they lost last time around in the first round to eventual champions Cassius 3. Down comes the axe of Hate. Hate have been rebuilt this time around so they can self right easier. Their their uh, shell, their rear, their, their uh, designers, their chassis has anyway. It's been rebuilt so they can self right with greater ease, but they're being pushed around here. But the axe coming down. Now remember, Storm 2 is a flat box shaped robot which means it's a fantastic target for a good axe and Storm 2 here is getting themselves pounded into a pancake look at the power now of Hate's axe as it comes slamming down trying to cause all kinds of damage to the top of Storm 2 and how much more punishment can Storm 2 take here I wonder this is a terrific fight by the way but I'd say Hate are currently on top despite Storm 2 signing up the stronger Hate have definitely come back here and are pounding and pummeling away at the top of Storm 2 and Storm 2 now pressed against the arena side wall and they could well be breached there they've fallen down now but Hate for me doing all the work here smashing them and bashing them in their base plate on their wheels oh <laughs> God, they do some acrobatics there as well but for me Hate have got this one in the bag now. They've managed to clutch a hold of Storm 2, driving it now towards Malfunction. And Malfunction once again gets his axe stuck in as well. And does so look there at the damage caused. And Storm 2 being chucked around like a rag doll here and in the pit of oblivion. It was inevitable, really, as Hate managed to get the victory and they get three points as well. That was a good performance there by Hate. So now it's between Nuclear Hazard and Hate. Who will get the winning points here? There will be no tiebreaker this time around. Storm 2 are out. Robot is stand by. 3, 2, 1, activate. So who will win? This is an official tiebreaking battle between these two. They both have three points. The winner of this battle, whether it be via judges or via KO, will be the winners. Axe versus Flipper, two fantastic design machines here. Both have come back improved since the last time we saw them. But there can only be one winner, Nuclear Hazard being lo loaded there with huge hammer hits. They tried to flip Hate 3 there but didn't quite manage to do it. And Hate 3 here, sorry Hate just not, just not giving in but Hate now self riding very well indeed. Hate using that axe once again on Nuclear Hazard. But Nuclear Hazard once again getting a flip in. Now was it me or did that flip seem a little bit lopsided, a little bit weak, a little bit less enthusiastic than usual? Down comes the axe once again at Hate and Hate smashing that axe in now on the flipper. And I'm wondering how much damage is being done here to Nuclear Hazard. They haven't got many flips in, and every time they have flipped, it's been very weak compared to usual. But finally getting a flip in, and another one, but hate self-writing. That just shows you how well they, uh, the, the redesign is done on their chassis. They can self-write with ease now. That was one thing that let them down against 
Cassius 3 last time around. Down comes the axe once again, pinning Nuclear Hazard down and pushing him into the CPZ with the nail and nail crunching into Nuclear Hazard. And I'm wondering how much damage has been done there now. I think we could be seeing Hate go through to the heat final at this rate via a six point, but don't count Nuclear Hazard out. And they nearly, oh my goodness me, they nearly, nearly had Nuclear Hazard, sorry, nearly had a Hate in the pit there. And Nuclear Hazard coming back strongly now, flipping Hate around. Can they get them out of the arena? I'm not too sure. Down comes Hate's axe once again though. Bludgeoning, battering, and bashing that flipper and pushing him into the CPZ with Nail once again. And that means Nail can come in now, crumple down. Look at the chassis, bending under the force of cr Nail's crusher there and again being crumpled into and now we have Nail on one side, Hate on the other and they're both just pounding into poor, poor Nuclear Hazard. Oh! <laughs> Nail nearly getting pulled over there by the weight of Nuclear Hazard but Nuclear Hazard for me are done for here. They've taken a horrendous amount of damage, a horrendous amount of punishment and if they're still mobile, I'll be surprised, but I don't think they are. And I think this battle is hates, and this group is hates in that case. And they're going to go through to the Heat Finals to face off against Trent. And that'll be a fantastic fight between two Connect Titans. But for me, Nuclear Hazard are done for, and the house robots agree. They're on their side, and they're being bullied around now by Brick. Onto the floor flipper they go, and through the air, landing on their wheels, but I think they're done for. And now, a little nudge by Hate allows them to be stuck on the drop zone, and down comes the drop zone there. <laughs> Not much damage was done by the looks of things. The armour held up well, it has to be said, but Hate, with one final strike, two final strikes, go through to the heat final. They have six points. Nuclear has not Storm 2. They are both gone. That's a shame to them. Hopefully they'll see them again next time around. But Hate go through to the heat final to face off against Shredder. This should be one heck of a battle between two Connect Titans. Let's get to the arena. What is stand by? Three, two, one. Activate. So who will win out of these two? Shredder's big, huge spinning bar or Hate's Axe of Death? Only one can win. Who will it be? Hate bringing down the axe there. Oh, smashing it right into the top there of Shredder. Now, has that done any damage to Shredder? I don't think it has. Shredder, don't forget, got that surprise upset victory, beating Plague, causing it horrendous damage, allowing Plague to lose out. The first seed of this series to not score any points whatsoever in the group stages. Meanwhile, Dako says, oh no! Hate's axe coming down, but it's snapped off. Now, what can they do? What can Hate do about this? I don't think they can do anything. Their axe is gone, which means they have no offense left. Do they have any defense, I wonder? I don't think they do, and I think Shredder now taking advantage of their lack of weapon by chewing them apart, smashing them around with their spinning bar, and into Karma's CPZ, go Hate. Karma plucking them up into the air before dropping them to the floor. But I think Hate are done for here, but they can still move, and they're still... <laughs> They're trying to use what's left of the axe. Oh, well done! That was fantastic! Did you see that? Hate there using what was left of their axe shaft to rip them up and over. And they're going to try and do it again. And they're going to try and push them towards the pit of oblivion. But Shredder managing to survive just. And I tell you what, this has been one fantastic performance. And well done to Hate here for at least trying to come back. At least trying to give some offence. I don't think it's going to work here, but they have at least tried. They're giving it their all still. That's the main thing. More damage done. Oh, goodness me. That's the top frame ripped straight off. And I tell you what, Shredder is a robot to watch out for in this series, you know. We've had deadly robots in the past. We've had deadly machines like Kilohertz, Razor, and Dogmeat. And now we can add Shredder to that list as well, I think. Because I tell you what, they are fantastic. Commiserations to hate, they tried their hardest, but eventually the damage caught up with them. Karma trying to grab a hold of them now with her jaws, but failing miserably. Come on, Karma, you're meant to be a professional girl. Get in there. Away you go, hate. Floor Flipper throwing them into Shredder there. That's the last thing they wanted. And Shredder are done for here. Not Shredder, sorry, hate are done for. And towards the Pit of Oblivion and Karma, I'm sure, she will do the honours and Six. pit hate for us. Down they go. 
Hope to see them again next time around. But well done to Shredder. Very professional and very fantastic. Very good performance here in this seat. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Anderson 132, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.